Our group chose to research why elephants are less likely to get cancer relative to other mammals. The biology behind this is quite fascinating as we delved into understanding various genes and cell replication. The human body is estimated to be made up of a staggering 30 trillion cells. Over the course of your lifetime, these cells divide in order to replace old ones with newer, healthier ones, or simply to multiply for the purpose of growing or healing. Sometimes this process fails, which often results in the case whereby the genes of a cell responsible for telling it to stop multiplying are damaged. This is the premise of cancer. As we know, cells replicate, and during replication, they can mutate and damage DNA. Therefore, it is evident that the more cells there are in a multicellular organism, the more likely mutation and DNA damage will occur. Consequently, this raises the probability of cancer cells developing. Naturally, one would go on to anticipate a correlation between both the size of an animal and its lifespan with the chances of getting cancer. That is, the larger or older an animal is, the more cells it has, and thus a greater chance of these genetic replication faults occurring exists. However, this is not experimentally true. This contradiction was first observed in 1977 by epidemiologist Richard Pito, who had conducted experiments on humans and mice and found that humans had the lower cancer rate, in spite of having almost 1,000 times more cells than mice. This discovery came to be known as Pito's paradox. Elephants, which rarely develop cancer despite their long life and large size, have been of particular interest to researchers. They have been found to have a relatively long lifespan, with African elephants living up to 80 years on average, and are also the largest land mammal on Earth, weighing on average 8.5 tons. Despite these facts, elephants have both a lower cancer risk rate and mortality rate than humans, at 5%, versus 25%. One reason why elephants are less likely to develop cancer cells through their lives is due to the existence of the TP53 gene. Humans and elephants have one copy of the TP53 gene. Tracing back through the evolution of elephants, it has been discovered that the TP53 gene in elephants duplicated repeatedly. As a result, African elephants have 19 TP53 retrogenes, therefore a remarkable 19 copies of the original gene, and Asian elephants have 12 to 17 TP53 retrogenes. The TP53 gene encodes the P53 protein, and the main responsibility of this protein is to govern cell development. Due to its policing prowess of, the DNA, ja of DNA damage, the P53 protein is called the guardian of the genome. The P53 protein is sensitive to any DNA damage, proliferation of tumor cells, lack of nutrients, and telomere shortening. When the P53 protein identifies any of the aforementioned threats, the protein will instruct cells to either 1. seize replication and repair DNA damage, 2. allow the cells to die if the DNA damage is irreparable, otherwise known as apoptosis, or 3. seize replication permanently. In humans, when the TP53 gene is mutated, it becomes inactive, thereby inhibiting its key roles. It no longer recognizes DNA damage, so allows the cell to replicate further, causing damage and mutation. This rampant behavior of the gene is often seen in human cancers. As mentioned earlier, humans have one copy of TP53. Each copy has two alleles, and both alleles need to work cohesively to minimize the risk of cancer. The abnormality of one allele can result in Le Fraumeni syndrome, leading to the onset of cancer 90% of the time, multiple primary tumors, and early childhood cancers. Research indicates that elephants develop the ability to suppress cancer cells over the course of its evolution as a survival mechanism to protect its herd particularly with producing multiple copies of TP53 gene and having the heightened aptitude to eradicate cells with DNA damage. Remarkably, this development was fostered 
about 54 million to 65 million years ago, when the elephant lineage split from its ancestors. Elephant cells can mutate up to 2.17 folds before the cancer cells, sorry, before the cells become cancerous. This is quite astonishing given the size of elephants compared to humans. A research article published late in 2018 proposed a second solution to the mystery of pedo's paradox in elephants, or rather added to the aforementioned one by identifying a second string of retro genes known as LIF. One of these genes in particular are still out, LIF6. This gene, as well as its corresponding protein, aptly named LIF6, is directly upregulated by TP53, which simply means that TP53 activates LIF6 to carry out its function when it detects any sort of DNA damage within the cell and has determined that the damage cannot be repaired. After activation, LIF6 travels to the mitochondria of the cell where it initiates apoptosis, effectively killing the cell. In relation to cancer, this prevents infected cells from continuously multiplying and spreading, therefore inhibiting the growth of tumors. Evolutionary analysis also provided some insight as to the origins of LIF6 and indicated that it actually evolved as part of a refunctionalized pseudogene. This means that the clade of LIF genes had, for a long time, been dormant and that they had lost their function due to random mutation, possibly by the introduction of a single stop codon somewhere in their code. LIF6 was then, at approximately 29 to 60 million years ago, refunctionalized due to subsequent mutation. This time span roughly corresponds to the emergence of large-bodied organisms and the proboscidean lineage, which supports the notion that LIF6 is the demands of managing cancer in large bodies. This research also prompted the discovery of the second variable to Peter's paradox, long lifespan. It found that animals, regardless of size, should experience larger risks of cancer in correlation with their lifespan on account for, once again, increased opportunities for cell mutation, thus inducing cancer. The accelerated regions found in the genomes of elephant species are another factor that contributes to Pedal's paradox. A study published in 2018 comprehends an expensive allocative performance and universal investigation. This study compares ARs, which is called accelerated region, in mammalian species with the most specific phenotypic adaptations, including elephants, hippat, orca, dolphin, bull rat, and squirrel comprised of around 56,700 genetic samples in total. Accelerated region, AR, defines a unique region in the genetic information that experiences a higher rate of nucleotide substitution. ARs are products of speciation and are altered due to selection pressure, resolving the activity of approximately 33,000 elements in humans and mice. Scientists discovered three primary genes in the ARs of elephants with abundant copies that are related to the unique cancer resistance. These genes are FANCL genes, BCL11A genes, and VRK2 genes. Compared to other mammalian species, the FANCL genes are highly distributed in the elephant genome. This type of gene encodes proteins for the Fanconi anemia pathway, also known as the FA pathway. The FA pathway is the central factor in accomplishing multiple concepts to assist DNA damage recognition and repairing. Furthermore, scientists found the enrichment of E3 ligase in the FA pathway. E3 ligases are ubiquitin proteins that function with the other types of uh, ubiquitin proteins to perform ubiquitination. Ubiquitination assists coordination, activation, inactivation, and degradation of another protein. The abundance of FANCL genes and E3 ligase proteins promotes cell repair in elephant species. The numbers of VRK2 gene copies are the second largest among the ARs of elephant species. VRK2 genes are also known as vaccine related kinases. These genes can promote the, st the stability of P53 proteins and inhibit the degradation, increasing the rate of apoptosis. On the other hand, the BCL11A genes that have the seventh largest number of copies in the elephant ARs are
affect P53 proteins oppositely. These genes inhibit apoptosis by inactivating the P53 proteins and increasing the expression of MDM2 proteins. The interaction between the proteins P53 and MDM2 is essential for the level of cell apoptosis. MDM2 proteins create bonding with P53 proteins and inhibit their expression, thus decreasing the level of apoptosis. The balance of genes in elephant species enables them to detect DNA and cell damage. The abundance of FANCL genes advances DNA repairing. At the same time, VRK2 and BCL11A proteins regulate damaged cell interactively. So, with what we know now about the TP53 gene in elephants and its ability to suppress cancer, how can we use this knowledge to prevent cancer in humans? Well, researchers have studied how the TP53 gene relates to aging in humans. If humans had too much TP53 protein, this would cause premature aging, and no one wants that. There is little research of how the TP53 gene can be manipulated in humans to suppress cancer growth. TP53 mutations are largely complex and variable. It is the most extensively sequenced, sequenced tumor gene. Mutations can occur before or during tumor development. Strategies have been devised to reactivate the normal function of the TP53 gene in mutated tumors. Recent advances in genome manipulation technologies has enabled us to treat cancer and genetic disorders. Genome editing therapies for blood disorders and blindness and cancer are currently being assessed in clinical trials. Gene editing provides the capability to alter the human genome by correcting genetic mutations to prevent or treat the disease they cause. Additionally, Animals have several retro genes of both TP53 and LIF6, whereas humans only have a single copy of TP53 and, rather than LIF6, a less effective gene called LIF. One possible way cancer could be inhibited in humans is by artificially increasing the number of these genes or by producing their proteins as a form of treatment. The addition of LIF6 alone would allow for the single TP53 gene to reach its full potential through the process of upregulation previously outlined. Currently, the most promising technology to carry out these processes is CRISPR. From an evolutionary point of view, the accelerated region is a field of study that further backs up Pedal's paradox. Researchers discovered the genetic adaptations of elephant species. These advantages are contributed by the significant amount of FANCL, VRK2, and BCL11A copies in the elephant ARs. These copies of genes help elephants to repair damaged DNA and achieve a high-ranged adjustment of apoptosis rate. Linking this information to human cancer resistance, the interaction of VRK2 and BCL11A is worth discovering. Since the BCL11A gene inhibits cell apoptosis, the possible ways to inhibit BCL11A genes in humans can be uncovered. In addition, the proteins MDM2 can bind to P55 proteins and inhibit their activity. Possible methods to prevent the bonding between MDM2 and P53 proteins should be discovered to increase the average rate of apoptosis among damaged human cells.